is a con is a continuation from the last time where we stopped. Um, today we are continuing from the security, the computer security. The question is, cyber crime or the computer crime is any offense that is involves a computer and a network. No. Some people commit crimes through the computers, uh, using computers to defraud, using computers to to obtain goods falsely. Don't, there's another type also, the hacker. This is somebody who gain unauthorized access, like a thief coming from the back door of your door. They gain access and try to obtain your belongings. So. This is one of the, the security um, offenses. The next thing is, um, what is a computer security risk? What are the risks which are associated with the computers? And the action that causes loss of damage, loss or damage to the computer system. Okay, it's very important we need to understand the cause and the loss. The damage of a computer system. What are they? One, sometimes this was called a malicious program or malware. These are consist of viruses, worm, Trojan holes, and zombies. These are the computer program that destroy a lot of um, the software um, information within our computers and the rest of it. That's why in most cases we have to be very, very careful with it. So, the next aspect also is what are the viruses, worm, and trojan horses? What are they? We normally keep on hearing viruses, the worms, the trojans, and the rest of it. Okay, let's try to take a look. Virus is a potential damaging computer program. All right? It goes in and start to shred up every single thing okay it can spread and damage file now the worms now the difference between a virus it can spread the worms now it goes on like a COVID-19 it copy itself repeatedly using up the resources and possibly shutting down computer or network so that is a worm is can be compared to a COVID-19. Now, payload is a destructive event that is delivered when you open the file, run infected program, or boost the computer with infected disk in a disk drive. Sometimes we get um, disk flash drive, which is contaminated with any of those above the worms or the viruses. Though the moment you open it up, it it infect another program, it infect the files and the rest of it. Now the Trojan horse, the Trojan it hides within or look like a legitimate program until triggered. Okay, the Trojan now it stick on people, it hide on people. Uh, but the moment you open it, that's when you see the, the real danger of it. So we have to be very careful with that. Now, <clears throat> how can a virus spread through an emails or messages? All right? Unscrupulous programmers create a viruses program. They hide the virus in a Word document and attach the Word document to an email. Now, a program is a language where if you also it, you set up a program and then you hide it. It can become damaging. Now, the same unscrupulous people, they use the internet to send emails, messages to thousands of users around the world. So this is what I was thinking at the beginning when I could not start my computers and the computers hacking up all of those kind of things. I start to wonder, is, is my computer being invaded? When I try to start it, it took me long hours before it can reboot as if somebody was on my network. So it finally get over and the computer's running smoothly, but afterward I have to find out what's happening behind the scene. So this is a practical case. Um, how can you protect your system from a macro 
viruses. There are certain viruses which are macro. Certain macro security level in application that allow you to write a macro, if you know it. At the medium security level warning, this place, that a document contain macros. Macro are instructions saved in applications such as a word processing or spreadsheets program. These are the actions. These are the action. The moment you triggered it, it happens. All right. The next thing is to protect our system. What is antiviruses? No, the antivirus program identifies and remove computer viruses. Must also protect against worms and trojans and horses. No. <clears throat> A popular antivirus program is AVG antivirus, Command antivirus, McPhee virus scan, Norton, and Trend Macro Penicillin. The Trend Macro Penicillin is not highly used by plenty of people. The Norton, fine. All right. Winding it up, or to wind it down, what is a virus signature? I'm running it down now in a virus code also I called. Saw me in the That's fine. And the virus program look for virus. So in that case, everybody, here comes the end of my presentation.